So I've been getting a lot of questions about Move AI now since they've officially released. So in this video, I'm going to try to answer some of your questions about Move AI. Starting with, does Move AI only work with iPhones? No, I've actually used Move AI with GoPros and some have actually tried it with webcams. Check out the experimental channel on their Discord for more info. How many phones do I need? My suggestion would be three, two cameras and one as the remote control. Can I mix and match iPhones? Yes, you can use iPhone 8s all the way to iPhone 14s. Additionally, you can use an iPad to host the session as a remote control, but it has to be able to run iOS 15 or above. How much space do I need to have to use Move AI? Move AI actually created a volume calculator on their website, so go ahead and check that out. FYI, the cameras on iPhone 8s are much tighter than iPhone 11s and up, meaning with iPhone 11s and up, you have a wider field of view, meaning you can use it in smaller spaces. How should I position the cameras? Do I need to wear specific clothing to use Move AI? Yes, avoid wearing baggy or loose clothes. Choose clothing that will stand out from the background. Make sure there's enough contrast between the actor and the background. My favorite colors to use are orange, blue, red, for example, blue top, red pants. Also, make sure that your talent is not wearing any dark clothing because dark clothing soak up light. How much time can I record? Right now, the limit is four minutes. Do I need internet connection? Yes, you'll need an internet connection on the host remote control phone all the time. And if you can help it, connect all your phones to the internet during your sessions. How much is Move AI? Price currently is $365 a year for 30 minutes a month, six hours per year of mocap processing. If you go over that, you're gonna have to pay a small fee. Does it capture fingers? Yes, for finger tracking, I highly suggest to get close to at least two to three cameras for best results. Can it track props? Yes, right now it can track balls like soccer balls or basketballs or volleyballs. Can you record outside? Yes, just keep in mind again, your host phone will need internet connection. And additionally, check the wind outside since your cameras cannot absolutely move when you are recording. How many rigs can you use with the Move AI mocap data? They have a lot of rigs now actually. And additionally, you can import your own character so you can retarget the mocap directly to it. Can you use mocap helmets with Move AI? Yes, I have tested Move AI with my DIY mocap helmet and face good helmet, and I got it to work. Can it capture sitting down? Yes, surprisingly well, actually. Well, that's it. I think I answered majority of the questions y'all got regarding Move AI. If y'all have any other questions, check out their documentations on their website. Additionally, if you want to check out their Discord, it's growing pretty fast. Go over there. People share the results. So if you have a question, people on Discord probably answered it already.